there's the vinyl and cassette community. What's going on, y'all? Happy New Year. Happy cold New Year. Damn. I woke up this morning, it was six degrees outside. Six. Six degrees outside. That is freezing. Absolutely freezing. I, um, I realized I had left the sunroof open on my car last night. I opened the door, put the key in. This is like 6.30 this morning. And I hit the button to close the moonroof and it just like, it went down and then back up. The, like the motor was completely malfunctioning. That's how cold it was. Absolutely ridiculous. Things warmed up later, it closed, no big deal. Anyways, this video is not about sunroofs. Uh, this video is about some cassette community love train, the first vinyl update of 2013, and just a huge hey and hello to everyone in the vinyl community. Seriously hope everyone is doing well. Now, first, some quick house cleaning. I missed this in my New Year's Eve video, whereas I needed to kick a huge shout out to uh, Super Wes. And Super Wes sent along a Christmas card, which was really cool, and I noticed uh, some other people in the BC uh, showing this as well. But Wes made a highlight of 2012 mix CD, which was super cool and it had some really, really cool stuff on it. Um, you know, you've got stuff from um, the Abbott Brothers Mumford & Sons, which I wanted to check out, uh, Swans, Earth, and some other music I wasn't even familiar with, uh, The Antlers, and this is number 13 of 35. So I thought that was really cool, and Wes, I really appreciate you thinking of me, man. Thanks so much. And I know I already sent you a uh, uh, PM to say thank you, but I really hope your holiday was well, and you're having a great new year, and thank you so much for the CD. On the same note, uh, I got a uh, card from Nathan as well, which I thought I had here, but I don't. I think it's uh, hanging up upstairs with the rest of them. But it had uh, the VW bus on the cover. I didn't even need to look at the return address to know that was from Nathan. Straight up. So, uh, uh, one more house cleaning thing, right? That country video that I made, not only was it wildly long, but man, the comments that I got back on that were just phenomenal. So to any and everybody that uh, watched that video, left a comment, shared some wisdom, some recommendations. Thank you all. Uh, I just walked away from that so inspired. I was kind of dreading it going into it because I'm by no means a country expert. I'm still feeling my way around, learning it, but loving it. And so I was kind of dreading it, thinking I'm just gonna really be showing a lot and not necessarily talking about it a lot because I'm still learning. But it turned out to be such a blessing to have done. And all the comments from everybody were phenomenal. I just phenomenal, pointing me in different directions through different periods, and uh, even down to a few that said, you know, there's some real stinkers in there. And Hell's Bells, right? Yeah, there is, but there's some crowd pleasers, and there's just some great solid albums. I mean, I'm loving it. To everyone that recommended Dwight Yoakam to me, oh, rock on. Thank you so much. I know I got that from uh, Garner, and figure straight off the bat, you know, these popped up today. Here's uh, three Dwight Yoakam cassettes, and these are all from the early 90s, so they're not the ones that were mentioned, which I believe were Dwight's first two, but uh, Dwight Live, here's Dwight Gone, which I just listened to, and uh, Dwight Yoakam This Time. I clearly missed the bus, missed the train on Dwight Yoakam. All three of these were great, and if these were that good, I was kind of listening to them and thinking I can only imagine how good the earlier stuff is. So I've got to go check it out, so again, Huge thanks. I do have some uh, country that I picked up in this vinyl update. For the first time, showing country in a vinyl update. Avoid any more 40 minute videos. Um, background, Genesis, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. We all know it, we all love it. And if you don't, you should. Um, but let's run through real quick. So this box showed up at my doorstep, uh, I wanna say it was two days ago. And it's just been staring at me like this. Like this, for like two days. And this came from Brother Fitzy, Chris. And I'll put a link to uh, Fitzy's channel down below in the comments. Newer to making videos in the VC, been showing some killer stuff. And he just picked up the Foo Fighters box set. I got the, uh, he got the Beatles box set for Christmas. I mean, this guy is hooked up. Great taste in music, doing some great videos. And just went and pulled his shirt off too to uh, <laughs> channel Damien in his subs contest. What are things coming to? But seriously, you've got to check out uh, Fitzy. Like I said, there's a link. Please go uh, show him some support. Check him out. Check out his videos. Great stuff, great taste. Um, and here is a package that he sent. I had, He mentioned he wanted to send something along. I had no idea that A, it was coming priority mail, 
and in fits. Media mail. Media mail. Save your money. And, or that it would be all these cassettes. But I mean, let's just run through them real quick. Then we'll get into the vinyl update. And these all blew my mind. Uh, first of all, he sent this wicked cool bag. Wow, that was Boston. Wicked cool. Uh, Led Zeppelin Celebration Day. And on the back, it has uh, shots of all of the different album covers, the studio albums. That was cool. I mean, that was a bag to end all bags. That was a swag bag. <clears throat> Very cool. Swag bag. Uh, here's a vintage issue of uh, RIP, or RIP. This magazine wasn't available in my area, but this is from 1989. And this just brings me right back to, this would have been my freshman year in high school, ninth grade. Anthrax. Very, very cool stuff. Ah, thank you so much for that, Fitz. And just running them down, here was just a box full of rock and metal cassettes. Just looking at them, I'm like, oh my god. And there's some that are doubles, so I'll be uh, spreading those throughout the VC to uh, the other folks in the VC that are doing the cassette thing. But right quick, some in here I'm super excited about. Here's uh, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. LA Guns, Cocked and Loaded. Great tape. Uh, women and children first again remember those uh, sound warehouse or the wall stickers where the value deteriorates over time and you can bring it back I think I showed an ACDC highway to hell 8 track that had one of those on it it had like a guarantee what you paid for it and it would devalue by like 30 cents every month or something like that uh, here's Night Ranger Midnight Madness DLR skyscraper the hits just keep on coming Lion, Dangerous Attraction. I have this on vinyl, and I have never seen it on cassette, and I've never seen anyone else, maybe Greeno, hold it up on vinyl. Here's two from Bon Jovi, 7800 Fahrenheit, and the debut, and the only two Bon Jovi albums that matter. Excuse me. <laughs> the two that just went flying off the desk, Sammy Hagar, BOA, and Grace Under Pressure. This is a rush tape I did not have. I may be missing just one or two at this point when it comes to Rush. Let's keep these rolling. Ah, Stairway to Heaven, Highway to Hell, the Make a Difference Foundation. I remember this one from my freshman year in high school too. It has um, like bands of the day, Hendrix and uh, Motley Crue and Ozzy doing like Who songs and Zeppelin tunes. Poison, look what the cat dragged in. Loverboy, loving every minute of it. Another Sammy case. That is just like that John Lennon one I showed you guys before with the big flap over. Still don't get how these survive to this day, but that's so cool. It's, uh, Night Ranger 7 Wishes. Like I said, I was not expecting this. This is just crazy. Here's uh, Styx, Edge of the Century. I've never heard this. It's very modern. Modern, 1990. <laughs> modern for Styx. Uh, Vision Quest soundtrack. Zeppelin 1. It's just some serious, some cool stuff here, Chris. Uh, Rat Out of the Cellar, Nazareth, Hair of the Dog, Def Leppard's High and Dry, phenomenal album. Uh, Ario Speedwagon, Wheels Are Turning, love some earlier Ario. I guess that's kind of later period for them, but anything Kevin Cronin touched with Ario is just awesome. Here's two from Keel, man. Ron Keel, the self-titled and the final frontier. Awesome stuff. It's a great Kicks album, Blow My Fuse. Everyone had that one in middle school. Survivor, Vital Signs, and Aerosmith, Done With Mirrors. I love that Aerosmith album. Here's a Winger and Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry. It's like they just kept coming up. This box, just crazy. Here's a Hooters, Nervous Night. It's actually not a bad uh, AOR album. And here's again that record bar label. So, uh, price, it says 73, that can't be wrong, but it says it was purchased on January 18th of 1986. That is awesome. Ah, uh, the history. Satriani, Surfing with the Alien, and Judas Priest Turbo. Both killer. Boston Third Stage and Anthrax. Step up, sucker, understand? Don't you know? I'm the man! Not, 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 not. David Lee Roth's Crazy from the Heat. Mr. Harry Chest himself. Motley Crue Shout at the Devil. Little bit of heart. Again, one of the record bar stickers. This is so cool. So, purchased November 17th, 1985 for $7.99. Can you imagine? You wouldn't pay $8 for that cassette today. Cheap Trick. I didn't have this one. One-on-one. -on -one. For all those Cheap Trick tapes I just found, I did not have that. My favorite Night Ranger album, Dawn Patrol, because Don't Tell Me You Love Me, is an amazing tune. So full of energy. And Billy Squire, Signs of Life. Again, an awesome package fits thank you so much much appreciated i had no idea you had all that in mind 
damn! Now I gotta find some way to level off with you, but don't worry, I will. Ah, uh, moving on. So I wanted to share just a quick handful of vinyl, some stuff that I had picked up, yeah, just before the year ended and the first one even for the new year. Uh, first, this is uh, this was sent to me by George, American Music Pickers, and I missed this in my last vinyl update. And George, I'm so sorry. This is a uh, Heretic. This is the breaking point. And Heretic, this is the uh, first full-length Heretic LP, which has Mike Howe from uh, Metal Church on vocals. And this is still sealed. So George, I don't know where you turn this up, but I can't wait to crack this open and hear it. So uh, I absolutely did not still have it. But I can't wait to check this out. It's from either 88 or 89. This is just killer. Killer ad. And uh, George, much appreciated, man. Thank you so much. Uh, running through a couple more on the metal side. Here's a uh, Great White, Once Bitten. Like I've said in the past, man, Great White is not too popular around these parts after the Station Nightclub fire. But I have to admit, there's definitely some good stuff out there. And this is something that my mom actually wrapped up for me for Christmas. This is an, uh, an Iron Maiden picture disc. And this is an interview with Steve Harris. This is limited to 2,500 copies. If you wanted to look it up, it's catalog number TT109B as in boy. And this is made in the UK. And we have um, Steve and Bruce here on the other side. I haven't listened to it yet, but apparently it's what it says, an interview picture disc. I'm not sure if there's any tunes on it. But still, quite a cool rarity to add to that collection. And now the first pickup of 2013, ta-da, was Hendrix, Are You Experienced? I caught this on sale at BestBuy.com, and I want to say it was right around Black Friday, so it took a while to get here, but man, was it worth it to have a shiny new copy of this. Woo, what a great album. And this comes with a booklet full of information about the album, really, really nicely done. I had not picked up any of these yet. Here's ah, the labels. Not sure how well they'll show up, but picture labels, 180 gram vinyl. This set was done right. Done right. Gorgeous, gorgeous gatefold. I don't even want to spread it open too much because you can hear it starting to crack. But man, what an amazing album. The first buy of 2013 and I could not be happier. I'll totally be all over the rest of the reissues. So damn good. Here's some more stuff. I picked up a couple from Canned Heat. Really getting into Canned Heat lately. And um, this is One More River to Cross. So I had not heard this album before, but damn did it blow me away. So, so good. Absolutely loved Canned Heat. Love the high falsetto vocals, the blues. And this one was just fantastic. This is um, Future Blues. I'm sorry. Cover on this one is a little messed up. A few uh, kind of careless repairs with masking tape over the years, but I guess that's how it was done in the 70s. And this spun at least three times before I took it off. Just killer stuff. Really looking forward to rounding out the Candy Heat collection. And now swinging back to that country uh, video, so many comments on earlier country. Check out earlier, check out earlier. And then I realized I have another box of country that isn't even here, and it's stuff that I kind of just figured wasn't for me. Not that I really had any right to assume that, but I was really feeling early 70s to like early 80s country music. So I went down to that box and I pulled out Sonny James and the Southern Gentleman, I'll Never Find Another You. Whoa! Oh my God, this album was so damn good. What was I thinking? This was fantastic. I cannot wait to go out and dig and look for more Sonny James. And I was talking to uh, Tegrino earlier and we were like, you know, when you find out about new stuff, you wonder how many times have you flipped right past it uh, in the past. Sucks. Here's uh, Hank Williams, Archetypes. Again, another one I did not think I would dig. And this one started setting slow. I don't hate it. I don't love it just yet, but I don't hate it. So we got to give it a few more spins. And I had one more Hank Williams uh, senior album that I just, I knew I was gonna get rid of. I wasn't gonna dig it. So stay with me, Hank. Stay with me, Hank. Stay with me, Hank. Got a hole in the bucket. This was also pretty damn good. Thought I was gonna say awesome, huh? Pretty damn good. It's a two LP set. Uh, it's his greatest hits volume two. So nothing legendary, but it's in fantastic shape. It spun great. I liked what I heard and we'll give it a chance. Uh, here's two more and then we'll just call this one a wrap. I managed to find uh, Charlie Rich, Lonely Weekends, and this is Charlie Rich on Sun. 
Somebody ripped off the sun tag up here, which really sucks, but it's sun 110. And I didn't even realize Charlie Rich had done anything on sun. I do have a, one other Johnny Cash record on sun, Johnny in the Tennessee 2. But Charlie on Sun, just like Cash on Sun, or damn anything on Sun, it's like a whole different vibe. It's like Blue Note for jazz. Uh, I mean, I have Charlie Rich records from the early 70s, and they're all right, but this was great. Elements of rockabilly, early country, just great stuff. I just wish people had stayed with Sun. And I showed uh, one of my country gospel albums. What did I show? Uh, I can't even remember right now. Anyways. I was saying how much I love just that country gospel sound. Sorry, Charlie Pride, Sunday Morning with Charlie Pride. And I found God Bless America again by Loretta Lynn. The cover's not bad. The vinyl is really nice. And look how young Loretta Lynn is right there. That was just killer. And I mean, I played it and it's totally, it's it's churchy and it's hallelujah. Um, not hallelujah and holy shit like Aretha Franklin's Amazing Grace, but still it was just, it was right, man. It felt right and it sounded good. And that's what it's all about. Everybody, uh, Wes for the card, Nathan for the card, George the album, Fits the Tapes, uh, folks for the recommendations with Dwight Yoakam. Y'all out there in the VC are just amazing and you know that. And that's why I keep coming back and that's why y'all keep doing what you're doing. So y'all keep doing what you're doing. Just love it. Thanks everyone for watching. Really hope everyone's enjoying 2013 so far. I hope you stay much warmer than I am here. Ugh, burr. Temperature's going down again tonight. That's nuts. And all of a sudden, I just don't feel like ending the video. So why should I? Why should I end the video? I mean, who gives a shit? We're just hanging out, right? Let's just hang out then. Let's listen to Genesis. I don't care. You know what? For the first time, I just don't feel like ending the video. I don't feel like saying ciao. I don't feel like ending the video. This is cool. This was in the box that Fit sent. Guest Room Records. Bricktown, Norman, and OKC. Very cool sticker. Very cool. <clears throat> Maybe I'm turning over a new leaf in 2013. Maybe I just don't feel like ending the video anymore. Maybe that means I just want to hang out with you guys more. Maybe that means some of us should really get together in person. I think so. Hey, look what Greeno sent, too. Greeno's been hooking me up with Classic Rock Magazine like nobody's business. Greeno, I love you, brother. That's awesome. Awesome. I started flipping through this tonight. Loved it. And he picked up this for me as well. Ace Freely's No Regrets. This was on uh, clearance at Barnes & Noble. Definitely had an eye on this. Have not picked it up yet. He found it and uh, sent me a text message. Said seven bucks, you down? Hell yeah. Ace Freely's No Regrets. Goldmine Magazine and Audio Advisor were in there as well. Just cool stuff. Alright, I guess I should probably let you guys go. If you watched it till now, you're a champ. And you're all champs. And thank you all for watching. Y'all take care and have a great night. Stay warm. Ciao.